blessed morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Let us enter into the Word. Today's Gospel reading is taken from Matthew chapter 6, verses 1 to 6 and verses 16 to 18. It is a Gospel reading that we are familiar with. For today's reflection, there are two parts to it. Firstly, why do we do what we do? And secondly, the expressions of piety and their reward. Here, Jesus warns us in verse 1, Beware of practicing our piety before others in order to be seen by them. For then, we will have no reward from our Father in heaven. The first part of why do we do what we do? Is it to draw attention to ourselves so that others may notice and think highly of us? Or is it to give God the glory? Here, the Lord warns us of the preoccupation with looking good in order to seek praise from others or public acclaim. The key to our choices is where are our hearts? However, when questioned, why do we do what we do? In 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 15 to 16, we are always need to be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks us for a reason for our hope, but to do it with gentleness and reverence, keeping our conscience clear. The second part is true piety and their rewards. Now, true piety is a loving devotion relationship with God, our Heavenly Father. It is having an attitude of awe, reverence, worship and obedience. It is the working of the Holy Spirit that enables us to devote our lives to God with a holy desire to please Him in all things. What? is the ultimate reward for us as disciples. It is the communion with God our Father. Because it is in Him alone we find the fullness of life, the happiness and truth. Why did Jesus single out prayer, fasting and almsgiving? This is because it is the heart of the matter and these are also the expressions of piety. Our good life can lead us to temptations to overvalue our exterior rather than the interior. Jesus insists on the interior, not the exterior. And Jesus calls us back to the interior life of private prayer, private devotional practice and private giving. Now, prayer. What is prayer? It is not a means to manipulate God. And we cannot presume or demand God to act in ways that are beneficial to us. God already knows our needs. We do not pray in order to inform God about our situation or to convince Him to act on our behalf. Instead, we are to pray in ways that are focused on God, not on ourselves. Our prayer is to request for God's will to be done in our lives. We need to address God in His terms. Therefore, we need to commit ourselves to prayer by setting aside an appointed time. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 6, When you pray, go to your inner room. Close the door and pray to your Father in secret. Fasting In the words and inspiration of Pope Francis, who challenges each and every one of us to fast not only from food, but to fast from pessimism and be filled with hope from giving in to pressures and be prayerful from worries of this current pandemic and to trust God from selfishness and be filled with compassion from impatience and be filled with patience from holding grudges 
and be forgiving from hurting words and to say kind words. The psalmist reminds us, my brothers and sisters, in Psalm 51 verse 10, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Almsgiving. There's this quote that says, When God blesses you financially, do not raise the standard of your living, but instead raise the standard of your giving. Almsgiving, my brothers and sisters, is a personal investing in the work and benevolence and kindness. This creates a bond between the giver and the recipient that facilitates accountability and affirms human dignity. It is also a reminder for each and every one of us to know that we are not the masters of our own financial resources. Rather, we depend on God to provide for all our needs according to His riches in glory and be accountable to God for how we use the resources that He gives us. So when we give, do not desire public acclaim or do it for show. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, prepare a place in my heart for silence and solitude, so that I may rediscover the grace of a prayerful life. Enlarge my heart, so that I will give to those in need, and in so doing, to rediscover the grace of gratitude and generosity. Help me to fast from those things that threaten the well-being of body and soul. Remind me of the grace and simplicity. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless. Have a blessed day, brothers and sisters.